Hey guys, Jimmy's Mama here with another squad video. Today we're doing a how to on the auto rifleman. Um, we're going to go through each of the classes uh, or roles and each of the role loadouts as well. And we're also going to go over standard uh, practice as an auto rifleman and we're going to go over tactics as well, go over some footage. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. We have a good one uh, packed in here. And comment if you like it and like the video. And see you next time. All right, guys. So, um, as you can see, for automatic riflemen, they have different um, loadouts for each one. So, for this one, you're gonna have a red dot and a nade, and this one you're gonna have uh, the M145, which is just a like a four time scope, I believe, um, or a three point four times, sorry, uh, and no nade. So make sure that you guys check the roll loadout before you pick the specific auto rifleman that you like. And uh, I just want to go over the main difference between auto rifleman and the machine gunner. The machine gunner, you're going to be more uh, stuck in place uh, while shooting just because of the inaccuracy of the, um, of the gun shooting from hip and shooting from shoulder. While... With automatic riflemen, you're gonna have a lot more uh, hip cap, uh, hip, uh, shoulder capability. It is gonna be you can shoot hip fire CQ, uh, C. However, it's gonna that's any long any distance like over 25 feet is gonna be inviolable to use. So you might as well scope in. Uh, shoulder fire. Um, automatic riflemen they are great shoulder fire weapons because they are a mini light machine gun. So. Uh, Let's hop into it. I'm gonna pick the I'm gonna pick the longer scope just so I can uh, show you guys a little bit better. So while shoulder, especially while shouldering, one thing that you guys should get down because this is an always automatic gun is to burst your shots. Okay, so make sure that you shoot three, four times, and then stop shooting and then fire again. Especially, I cannot stress this enough, especially when shouldering the weapon, okay? You're going to have better accuracy this way. Um, you're going to get more shots on target. You're not, and make sure to hold down that shift as well to stable your shot, okay? So you can get three, four shots off before it gets too wild, okay? But look at it. I'm trying to hold it down. I can't, and I've played some CSGO in my day. This is a hard spray. You can literally cannot control it. Um, <clears throat> another way to fire this weapon is to simply, once we get reloaded here, is to simply right click, press C, and it'll open a bipod on anything that it, you, uh, is underneath you. You can do this from a crouch position, you can do this from a prone position, and if you're standing and you don't know, like, say you're not sure if you need to crouch for this, just press C. It will go down if you need to. So while uh, using the uh, bipod, you can actually spray down a lot more. Um, I don't recommend this because uh, as soon as, unless it's for suppression, um, you're going to waste a lot of ammo. Um, I know with the M249 on the Americans, you have a hundred in your box, but not, not every single gun is that. I think the RPK has 75. Um, uh, what else? Uh, I think the, yeah, I think that, I think the British have 75 as well. I think the Americans are the only one with a hundred. I'm not sure about that. Um, but you're going to waste a lot more ammo. So you're going to want to only do that on pushes on a large front. If it's like a, uh, building that the, that people are held up in, you're going to want to use spray and pray then. However, generally, you're going to want to burst, okay? Um, if you don't get the guy in the first four shots that you shoot at him, he's going to duck in and you're going to miss... You just wasted five shots for no reason. So, make sure you guys use the burst. Try to get familiar with the scope. Um, I know it's. I know this one's kind of hard to read. 
Um, if I could hit it. But you can just, you just trial and error if you want to learn that way or if you want to get really familiar with the scope, hop in the gen to the training range and get familiar with the scopes. Um, however, let's hop into some footage and I want to show you guys how I play as a uh, auto rifleman. So I want to give you guys some footage of uh, what I do in the game. So this is me just getting some comms, simple comms that there are some guys up in the ridge uh, coming in north 3, 4, 5. So I start spraying that ridge. I don't exactly see where they are, but make sure that two bullets go down a certain, you know, a few of those bearings. Um, between... Uh, I was shooting there between north and three. Uh, well, actually, more more was two eighty five between three three forty five or whatever that was. Um, uh, I was shooting between there, and then I was just scanning simply. And now I'm moving because I have the role where I can move. I don't just have to sit there. And well, this is a defense, so I have to sit in this fob anyways. So I'm moving my position. They need me over here now. So now I'm scoping. I saw. I, guess I didn't see that guy I saw I just saw a guy uh, now so just constantly look for areas that need help you are that support role that is providing four guns in one guy okay um, you're not necessarily going for accuracy all the time especially when suppressing uh, so just keep that in mind now this isn't exactly a pure auto rifleman clip um, however uh, my team needed reinforcements as you saw on that map um, in the southeast side uh, So I took that position because again, you were the strength of three or four guys in one gun Okay, so I took that position and then I wanted to hop in hop in the truck because I heard guys just over the wall And right when I hopped over the wall they came in so then I sadly had to reload the gun So they took out one or two of my guys. I already called out that the guys are over the wall and coming in on this position. And then I just swiftly take out the uh, enemy forces that were inside. Um, so again, that wasn't a pure auto rifleman clip. I was just showing you, uh, you know, I was in a very good position because again, my lack of teammates in the area and they needed uh, more. And this is just me suppressing that hill. Uh, and this is me going down. <laughs> um, so yeah all right so i just wanted to show you the last little bit of footage uh i i got for you guys um this is me uh using burst fire to my advantage so that was a kill right there um so with just always remember you can burst shoulder with this gun it is a killing machine okay if you uh if you put the bipod down, you're capable of just putting down loads of hate, okay? So I highly recommend trying out the auto rifleman if you haven't already. Make sure that you, one, make sure that you're the support for your team. You're always chasing your squad. You're not in, in the middle. You're not at the front unless your squad leader tells you to be. Um, always stay near the back if there's a machine gunner let him stick in the back because he's going to be up on the hill a lot more than you are uh you're going to be you know 50 meters behind your uh last guy so always make sure to move with your team always make sure to burst fire at shoulder let loose if you want on bipod but i recommend uh bursting anyways unless you're suppressing make sure that you fill that empty position that your squad isn't covering so if you're holding a town a building or whatever take three doorways take two buildings take whatever just because you have that capability of the extra firepower okay you have that extra capability that you're gonna seem like a lot more guys possibly to the enemy than you actually are okay just because that suppressive fire is huge in this game okay so thank you guys i hope i covered the auto rifleman uh enough um so i hope you guys enjoyed this enjoyed this video and uh thank you please comment uh if i missed anything i'm pretty sure i covered the basics of the auto rifleman and 
a pretty decent showcase of uh, uh, the abilities and what you should do. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy. I'm see I'm filling positions. I hope you guys enjoy this uh, video. Uh, thank you. See you later. Thank you.